Hi guys, Ulrich here today with another guitar question. What is the best way to learn acoustic guitar? So I get, I keep getting this, this same, this very question over and over and I thought I'm gonna do a quick video to just uh, get an opportunity to discuss the uh, most important points with you. I wanna keep this video relatively short, but what I encourage you to do alongside this video is an article on my website where I feel um, I was able to, uh, even though it's a fairly long article, but it has bookmarks, so you can jump to the, to the respective section of your choice. Um, if you wanna skip some, some um, paragraphs or some sections, I feel it's worthwhile reading because I, I think I, I was able to kind of logically guide you through the whole process. And um, anyway, what I wanna do in this video is uh, just discuss a couple of things that hopefully help you figuring out what's the best way for you to learn acoustic guitar because the fact of the matter is there is no one single best way. Uh, it depends on your personal situation and a number of factors that we wanna highlight in this video and then we can figure out out of all the different learning approaches and methods, what's the best way for you. So first of all, what I wanna start with is when we say acoustic guitar, um, there are different kinds of acoustic guitars. There is uh, what, I, what you see right here, which is a Western guitar. It has steel strings and then, um, in, and contrary to that, we have a classical guitar right here with nylon strings. And there is, there is um, other than the fact that they have different strings, there are a couple of other things um, where, they, um, where they are different, but that's really the main, main thing is the fact that they have different strings. So uh, speaking of what's the best guitar to, to get started on, in my personal opinion, as a matter of fact, it, it is the classical guitar, and I tell you why, the classical guitar with the nylon strings is easier on your hands. Now your fingers will hurt, your fingertips will hurt, irrespectively of what kind of guitar you start out on, but they'll hurt less when you, when you use nylon strings, and it's quite logical, right? I mean, nylon steel, nylon is just softer on, is just gentler on your fingertips. Starting out on a classical guitar doesn't mean you have to stick with to this type of guitar and also doesn't mean that you can only play classical music on this type of guitar. But for the first couple of months, I would recommend get yourself a classical guitar with nylon strings, get started, learn the first few chords, get some calluses on the fingertips, and then later on, you can upgrade, for the lack of the better term, to a Western guitar or to any other guitar that you like. Now that we discussed the guitars, let's look at the learning methods uh, that are available to you. There are all different ways um, and all different kinds of paths you can go down in order to learn acoustic guitar. And again, in the article, we could discuss these these things in much more detail, but essentially what you're looking at is you can hire a teacher giving a one-on-one -on -one lessons. You can um, go and have hire a teacher for, for, or work with a teacher in like a class or group setting. Um, you can do it online. You can figure out how to teach acoustic guitar, um, teach yourself acoustic guitar by um, using books, DVDs, or go on YouTube and all that. And again, in the article, what I'm, what I'm doing there is I'm gonna try to compare and evaluate all the different methods against each other. And again, as I told you before, there is no such thing as the one and only best way because as, I, as you evaluate and compare all these different learning methods, you use different factors such as how much does it cost me? How efficient is it? How is it from, from a timing and flexibility perspective? All these things considered are very important. Now that's just one side of the story because remember what I just said before, we have to figure out what's best for you. So let's talk about you for a moment. How do you usually learn new things most efficiently and most effectively? What kind of person are you in, a, in terms of do you like to uh, have somebody who gives you supervision, who scrutinizes your progress, who gives you feedback, who encourages you, who scolds you, 
who breathes down your neck. Do you like do you learn best when you have somebody kind of guiding you through the process, when you have to stick to a rigorous schedule? Or does all that just sound like a complete nightmare and you you just don't have the time or the money or you just don't want to do that? You want to be in charge of your own schedule. Um, the last thing you want is trying to figure out between picking your ch children up uh, from school, taking them to to soccer practice and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And now you have to squeeze in the guitar lessons and you have to drive over to your teacher's house and your teacher comes to your house and you have to clean up and all that mess. So you might not want to do that, right? So online guitar lessons obviously are a fantastic opportunity where you are just uh, fully in charge of your own schedule and you do it whenever you want, yet you still get a guidance from a teacher or from the program by following um, the structure of the course and following the pro just following the program really now with all that being said maybe you just prefer maybe maybe you have a flexible schedule maybe money is not an issue because working with a teacher on getting one-on-one -on -one lessons that's hands down in my opinion the most effective method to learn guitar but it's also the most costly and probably the most stringent method when it comes to um, your, your schedule or the least flexible method when it comes to schedule and, and things like that. But that might not be an issue for you, then you might want to do that. So again, in the article, I'll guide you through the whole process. But also, in terms of recommendations, again, if you want to do online, if you feel comfortable that um, you want to do something online where you just open up your laptop or your computer or iPad or, or whatever, and you just, whenever you have the time, take another lesson or repeat the lesson, and you are fully in charge of the pace and the frequency and things like that, then obviously online programs are very, very effective. Also, quite frankly, from a cost perspective. Only though, if you work with a reputable offer or with a, with a reasonable offer, in a sense, and why I'm saying that is very, it's very important because what you see online, there is tons of, I don't know if there's scams, I, 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 I you know, I don't mean to discredit uh, the work and, and the products of other people, but um, if, if you seriously believe that there is such a thing as learning guitar in your sleep or learning blues guitar in two days, I would be extremely cautious. Let's put it that way. In my opinion, there is just no work around. There's no work around and there's no shortcuts, irrespectively of wh what method you end up choosing for yourself as far as learning guitar is concerned. There is practice involved. There's, there's blood, sweat and tears involved on your part, irrespectively whether you work with a teacher who gives you guidance or do an online thing or trying to figure everything out by yourself, you have to practice. And please don't buy a product that promises something that's just not doable. So. To wrap this up, two specific recommendations. If you're a guitar beginner, you decided you want to learn acoustic guitar, there are two things that I can vouch for. And those are not the only two things, to be very, very clear. There are really good guitar teachers out there and um, some of them have guitar courses. Some of them are, I believe, are even for free. You might have heard of Justin Guitar or Marty Schwartz. I mean, they're, they're awesome people, I, I, I think. I think very highly of them, but uh, I haven't checked their products in detail. I can only speak to and, and recommend to you what I know and what I personally tried. So two quick, two quick things. The first thing is the beginner's guitar course. I created this course. The course is completely free of charge. If you're a guitar beginner, want to get started, check it out. Alternatively, jam play. That's what I can wholeheartedly recommend. Jam play. Jamplay is an online guitar learning platform. I believe they're the market leader. I'm not sure, doesn't matter. I looked at them, I checked them, I tested them. I wanted to break them in a sense that, uh, okay, I'm very skeptical when it comes to these things because the price, in my opinion, was almost too good to be true. I tried them out and you know what? I was baffled because the quality of the guitar lessons, and they do anything from guitar beginners to intermediate players to advanced players. 
irrespectively of the genre, type of guitar and things like that, they have something for everybody at a super low price. As a matter of fact, as a guitar beginner, you can buy a course and I even have some coupons for you that I will share with you in a second that makes it even more affordable, but you pay essentially for the entire course less than you would pay elsewhere for just one lesson. And that's, that's quite amazing. Nonetheless, you don't have to compromise on quality. So I can highly recommend Jamplay. And again, please go over to the article. I share with you your, I share with you coupon codes that shave off another nice percentage of the already low price. And, but more importantly, I don't think the price is, is, is that important because you will see there are different packages and they're scalable and all that. You'll figure that out, but you'll see it's very inexpensive. So the price is probably not so much of an issue rather than getting the confidence that you get something for your money, even though it's little money only. And that's where I feel very confident recommending Jamplay to you. So that's it. Again, we spent the last couple of minutes on the online lessons um, and, and uh, um, ways to learn acoustic guitar online. Again, as I mentioned before, I'm not trying to sell something here uh, because the fact of the matter is if money is not an issue, if you're somewhat flexible with, with, your, with your schedule, if you want to work with a teacher getting one-on-one -on -one lessons, hands down, that's the best if, the if you get a good teacher, but there are a lot of good teachers out there. That's the most efficient way to learn guitar. There is no doubt about that because the teacher will give you feedback. The teacher will give you personalized guidance. The teacher provides, um, the teacher mean, Working with a teacher means there's some scrutiny. You have to do your homework. He, you're gonna meet him in, in a couple of days again and all these things. So I think it's, it's actually the most efficient way. But as I said before, it's certainly, it comes with the highest cost and there's other considerations such as a rather inflexible schedule and things like that. So I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, again, hopefully my article will answer them. Or there's actually a couple of articles that I encourage you to read. They will guide you through the process, but also leave a comment below, um, email me, go over on my website, email me from there, leave comments on my website. Please leave a like, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.